Asserting Boundaries with the Narcissist I frequently see people stating that they need to become better at asserting boundaries with the narcissist. They feel that as an empathic victim, they are often somebody who compromises too readily. They feel steel rolled. They act like the doormat. Listen to the video of the same name. They will talk about how they need to learn better assertion of their boundaries to enable them to handle the narcissist more effectively. Often people will say to me, HG, how can I become better at asserting boundaries with regard to the narcissist? Often I will see people claiming to be experts with regard to narcissism and narcissistic abuse, explaining to people, this is how you deal with the narcissist. You need to assert your boundaries. They don't know what they're talking about. The simple fact is this. If you believe that you can succeed by asserting boundaries with a narcissist, you need to wake up and you need to wake up pretty quickly because it isn't going to work. It is complete bollocks to think that you can assert boundaries with us. Why? We don't recognize them. We have a rampant sense of entitlement. We go where we want. We do what we want. We interact with whomsoever we choose, when we want to, and in a manner that suits us. Some of our kind will turn up uninvited to events. Some of our kind will enter your house without knocking first. Some of our kind will call you at 4am in the morning thinking there's nothing wrong in doing so. Some of our kind will borrow things from you on a long-term basis, steal from you, take your food, touch you when you've been asked not to be touched. Some of our kind will start to try and have sex with you whilst you're asleep. Why? We have a rampant sense of entitlement, no sense of accountability whatsoever, and therefore we don't recognize boundaries. Remember, you are objects to us. Do you think that the narcissist looks at his toaster and thinks, oh, I must respect my toaster. I must ensure that I only use it with its permission. Of course he doesn't. He goes over, slams the bread in, pulls down the lever, waits a little while, and then up pops his toast. The toaster is an object. You are regarded as an object. You are there to be controlled by us. You are there to function when we choose, when we press your buttons, when we turn your dials, when we switch you on, when we require you to act on our behalf. And therefore, there can be no boundaries, because if there is a boundary, what will then happen? You will threaten our control. And if you threaten our control, what happens? We must nullify that threat. We must either do so directly, we will punch you in the face, push you away, shout at you, give you a word salad, a circular conversation, flatter you, bribe you. Whatever it takes, dependent on the circumstances and the school of narcissists that you are dealing with, your attempt to assert that boundary will be trampled over. Our tanks will come racing into your territory. Any barrier that you've attempted to manufacture, and let's face it, you're invariably not very good at doing it in the first place, will be crushed trampled, broken through, shattered. We go wherever we want. We are access all areas. Any attempt by you to say no, any attempt by you to say, well, actually, I don't want to do that, any attempt by you to say, no, this is my space and you're not coming into it, you're not allowed to do that. From our perspective, that is a threat to our control and must be dispensed with. And remember... The narcissist doesn't, doesn't suddenly go, Oh, you're right, you're asserting a boundary with me. Golly gosh, yes, I must absolutely respect that boundary. No. Most narcissists don't even recognize the boundary to begin with. The more evolved ones will do, but will just work a way around it, either malignly or benignly anyway. Why? We have to. 
Remember, all appliances must be under control and brought under control at all times. That means that if you try and assert a boundary with us, you threaten our control, we then have to assert control over you. And invariably, that means through the direct assertion of control, we do something either benign or more usually malign against you, and that boundary is eradicated. Sometimes we're forced into the second or third assertion of control, and you might think that you've secured a victory. You might think that you've somehow secured the assertion of a boundary, and it's worked. Understand, to think that that is a permanent state of affairs belies misunderstanding about narcissism. It's an understandable one. You are not the experts. And also your emotional thinking will do this. It will whisper in your ear, well done, you asserted a boundary. Try again. Keep doing this. You've got this. You can handle the narcissist. You can manipulate the narcissist. All you're doing is falling into a trap. Remember, as an empathic victim, you have an addiction to the narcissist, and your emotional thinking wants this addiction to be serviced each and every day by causing you to enter into one or more of the five arenas of interaction. This then means that it cons you by causing you to think that you're getting one up on the narcissist, that you're getting something over the narcissist. You're not. The narcissist may have been forced into utilizing the assertions of control two or number three, indirect or by withdrawal, but we will be back. And a further attempt to assert that boundary is, will fail, because either we will come back and assert a control directly, or we will shift control to some other way. We always get control. The difficulty for you also is this. When you're interacting with us, you find it difficult, of course, to assert that boundary in the first place. Empaths are not particularly good at doing it. It's just the way that you are. Furthermore, if you try, our behavior becomes so overbearing that you're likely to be the one to compromise. You feel bad for trying to assert the boundary. You feel guilty. You feel unpleasant. Oh, I've upset him now. I feel bad because I told him that we couldn't do this. Your assertion of boundary prompts the reaction of the narcissist to respond by asserting control over you, perhaps by a pity play. And your empathic trait of honesty is corrupted by your emotional thinking to make you feel guilty. So what do you do? You back down and you change your mind. And afterwards you curse yourself for saying, I don't believe it. I back down once again. I gave in. How many times has that happened? You are the ones that have to compromise. Why? Our demand for control results in that happening and also because you're an empath and you suffer from emotional thinking the relevant empathic and sometimes narcissistic traits cause you to back down and hand that control to us the simple fact is this when it comes to the assertion of boundaries forget it when it comes to a narcissist we are not designed to respect them we are designed to trample them and that is what will happen don't fall into the trap of thinking the occasional victory is going to be a permanent and solid state of affairs. It will not. You are just going to get yourself into continued and increasing difficulties. You will end up giving us fuel. We'll win. You will suffer an adverse consequence. You lose, meaning we win. And you will increase your emotional thinking, meaning you lose and we win. The only boundary that you must endeavour to assert with a narcissist is that of no contact. Any continued interaction with the narcissist is a breach of no contact and results in the arrival of the devil's pitchfork. Any attempt to assert a boundary on an ongoing basis with us is doomed to failure for the reasons that I have already explained. And all you'll end up doing is getting hurt, angry, upset, irritated, frustrated, possibly physically attacked, smeared, ostracized, beaten up, a whole host of responses which will become problematic for you. You try to repeatedly assert boundaries with us. You are not designed to do it. You are designed more likely to cave in when we threaten you in some way by asserting our control directly over you. And ultimately, it is futile and all you're doing is putting yourself on a fool's errand. Don't do it. Forget about working on yourself to assert boundaries with us. It won't work. 
All you must do is apply the principle of GOSO. Get out, stay out. Build that defence, not a boundary, a defence through no contact. Where you can become better at asserting boundaries is with non-narcissists, and that will reap rewards for you. And also, by ensuring that you stay away from the particular narcissist through your no-contact regime, and then getting your emotional thinking down and learning to avoid future narcissists, you shore up more of your time so that you are able to spend more time and in a judicious way identifying situations where you can assert boundaries with normal and narcissistic people and either other empathic people without feeling guilty about it. That is where you assert boundaries with non-narcissists and you can learn to become better at that because those people have emotional empathy and therefore they will ultimately respect those boundaries. For us, forget it. It won't work. And anybody that tells you that you should assert boundaries with a narcissist doesn't understand narcissism. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.